Good morning, guys. We are here back at Auto House Social, and today I'm filming something pretty cool. Um, I'm doing a little bit of behind the scenes on top of a filming um, being done by uh, William on top of a install. So um, Ash asked me to come down um, on the back of the behind the scenes video I posted for Atlanta Street Stories and the uh, docu-series that we filmed together. I'll post a link to that uh, up at the top here. Basically said, hey, I really like the behind the scenes stuff. It was pretty cool to kind of see how that all came together. We're doing an install for uh, Josh, Shamrock GT3. Uh, if you don't follow him, go check him out on Instagram. So, uh, we're here and uh, we've just started filming. So got kind of pulling in, that kind of stuff. Uh, we've got the car stage in the garage behind me. And so next is to kind of lay out all the parts. Uh, he's doing a Dundon exhaust um, to include headers and tips and all that kind of stuff and a shifter. So it's gonna be an epic um, install nonetheless. Filming it is uh, just a bonus. And so we're gonna get started on that. Uh, I'll take you guys behind the scenes of kind of the filming of taking the parts off, putting the parts on. Um, I'll try to capture obviously part of the technical details of what goes into these exhausts. I think, you know, hopefully that's something you get out of this video too. If you're thinking about doing exhaust on your water cooled Porsche or your GT3, you're considering Dundon or Soul or, or any of these other manufacturers, this will give you an idea of kind of what the process looks like. So uh, stay tuned and, uh, you know, it's going to be a fun day. Yo. Good morning, sir. Good morning. We ready to get this guy some sound? We got Josh Sheets, <laughs> Mr. Hollywood here, his little Shamrock GT3. Got the main wheel behind the camera, small, big wheel. Look at this guy. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun day. We'll put on this Don Dun exhaust, get this new Mary Shifter in, all this stuff. Dude, the inserts. Andrew, did you see the inserts in this thing? I did. I was just complimenting Josh did on you, those. Did you get a visual of the inserts in this thing? I did. You did? You gotta see it again, dude. Oh, yeah, they're choice. Off the chain. This is insane. They are choice. Look at this wrap. It's hot. Whoa! We don't want to install a rear bumper today. <laughs> so uh, we got the car up on the lift. Um, Mikey's in the back right now and he's uh, actually taking off the existing stock to free exhaust. Um, so we're gonna let him do his thing for a little bit um, and take a break in the filming um, and then they're gonna come back here in a little bit and we'll get uh, kind of overview of all the parts we've taken off and of course get the install of the new nut exhaust. So um, stay tuned for that. But um, you know, right now it's really you know measure twice, cut once, uh, just to prep to take all this off and then we'll uh, start getting the install going. Exhaust system looks like impressive, but not what we're going for, right? No, not what, not what the owner is going for. I'd be grateful to be going for this personally. Yeah, it's I mean, a this is hard to begin with, but like anything else, you can make good better. You're, and, uh, you're living right if uh, you're like, I want to upgrade the upgrade. Take all this heavy stuff out and replace it with like all that light stuff. It's just gonna be good. Josh is gonna be a happy guy. I think so. Josh, you'll be stoked, brother. <laughs> So real quick guys, I'm going to give you just a uh, brief overview of the Dundon exhaust system that we are putting on Josh's car today. So um, headers, 
obviously, um, as you can see here on the left. Uh, sport cats. I don't know the cell count on these, but in looking at them, I think you can obviously tell those are going to do the trick. Um, and then this system does have valve components. Um, so the 991s, whether you're talking uh, really the base all the way up to the GT3, um, in some cars it's an option, in some cars it's standard. Um, but it has a valve exhaust, which is really amazing. And the fact that you can turn this thing open and really get that uh, motorsport sound or you know you're cruising your neighborhood it's 10 p.m you're pulling in you don't want to piss your neighbors off you can close those valves down and really muffle a lot of the sound so a lot of the aftermarket systems from dundon and also like soul performance have a valve component preserved so you can actually use the factory installed uh controller and button inside your car so that is very cool um and then these tips are nuts um obviously larger than stock um, much larger, I think. It'd be interesting to get them on the car. It is a little hard to tell just from kind of looking at the tips and not really having them on how big they really are. But um, the, what's remarkable about this is not just the size, but the weight. I mean, this thing is literally like paper thin weight. I mean, just the engineering on these parts, as you can tell, is really something special. So um, super excited to see this thing go in. Uh, for those of you who have followed my 991 build series, you know that I'm in the middle of researching exhausts. Uh, current uh, focus for me is on a soul, and that's kind of where I did most of my research. But um, this is a unique uh, and timely opportunity to get uh, exposure to a different exhaust from Dundon, who obviously has quite a reputation in this space as well. So I uh, can't wait to get it on and uh, see what it's all about. Like I was telling you, Matt was John, here. Matt Lamar, yeah, Matt Lamar was here. So like, Mary, Kyle, Kyle here. Uh, Kyle K. Why did I go back to my house? That's what I'm saying. You missed like eight people there. Like all the Porsches. Been Before you do, give us a rundown. What do we think? Professional mode. All right. right. Pro mode. What do I think? Man. First impression. Right. Can you have multiple impressions yeah. within a first impression? Yeah, I mean, sure. I guess to sum it up, wow. All right. <laughs> like, color combination. I this Irish green is beautiful in this car, to be honest. I think. Love what you have the inserts. Uh, just well spec. Just from the factory, wow. Now that like we've got the exhaust on it, uh, I went through the shifting through that numeric. Man, it is like a rifle, dude. It's a click, 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 click. Super tight. Um, I'm impressed, man. Like it's sound. You heard it, Andrew. I did. Going by, and that was without the sport exhaust turned on. Crank it up, and you can kind of hear it. So think for yourself. Let's do it. So no one, I think, would ever accuse a GT3 of having no go, but obviously, Josh has the show. The color, the inserts, the license plate. I mean, this guy has taken a lot of care to get the aesthetics right. And like I said, we know it has go, it's a GT3, but the go factor just went from like a 10 to like a 12 with this exhaust. So nice addition. Congrats, Josh, on your addition. This is uh, making what is already an epic spec even better. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. I uh, hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look. Uh, big shout out to Auto House Social for letting me hang out for the day. 
and kind of take you guys behind the scenes on an exhaust install. So like I said, if you're considering uh, Dundon in particular for your GT3, obviously this gives you a really good idea of the process and a little bit of the outcome. Uh, but that said, if you're considering exhaust for your Porsche or any other car, come check these guys out. Um, Top-notch service, very cool people. Um, and uh, I would say this is definitely a success. So stay tuned for more of this behind the scenes uh, if you guys like this. Um, and if you do enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button at the bottom. Um, stay up to date with the channel as more stuff comes out. Got a 991 bill going, got all kinds of events in town and uh, you know shops and things like that around town as well. So thanks for tuning in and catch you on the next one.